from Gold Coast. Late on a Saturday night, we got the title match of the handicap division. Two non-winners, so someone's going to win their first career JBT title. A contrast in styles and a contrast in experience as Jacob Childress has taken on first-time JBT bowler Ariana Zandi. She was your top seed today at plus 101. Shows you how challenging the lanes are today. That sometimes misses the cut today. That was enough to lead. Childress won his last two matches to get to this point, and Ariana is getting 33 pins a handicap and started with the first three strikes. So she's way in command of this title match right now, which is an impressive thing. And I have no idea what pin action that was. That was bizarre. Meanwhile, Har Harley Swagger, fresh off his runner-up finish, is sitting here and plunking himself down because he thinks he's got a shot to snag the number five spot tomorrow, which is valuable. And I think I've got good news for him. He got the two highest games. How much is that? That can't hurt at all. Does she have to reset? Is that worth 40 points? Um, gosh, guys, you got to call that in and ask them to clear the deadwood off the deck on four. What is it? It's already on second ball. So is that uh, 25 and 20. Oh, really? So that'll help you a ton, I'm sure. And just what we need, another delay. Unfortunately, we got off to a late start today. We were ready, but they weren't done oiling. Uh, six and a pair takes a while, a hard shot takes a while, and it seems like three and four is ready to give up for the night before we finish this last game. <laughs> Lane nine, I'm ready to throw out the window. I don't know. I don't know what four just did there. She had some weird pin action on that shot, and I don't know if that contributed to that, but now she's got pins all over the place. Pretty impressive day to you for the young lady at a 139 average, qualified first at plus 89. Had a solid semifinal set, like we said, to get up to 101. All she had to do was to make the top 10 to bowl tomorrow. Instead, she's going to make the top two here. Hard to bowl a title match. You had to sit around for about an hour while the other bowlers played their matches for the chance to get to her. Jacob got here with the semifinal win over Tim Kessler and Kyle Gilbert, and then a round two win over Sam Espiritu and Philip Sauvé. Before then, Sam beat his girlfriend, Rachel Zaney. That always goes over well. And also Tim Hill in the first round. After this, we do the stats and put the points up. And that should take us to about midnight. Then we do the averages. That should take us to about 1. Then i got to make a pit stop at Walmart. That should go to 1.30. I'm staying at Texas tonight, so I should be checked in by 2. i got to be back here at 6.30, so that's a 5.30 alarm. Yeah, let's just not think about that. Just to carry on. And an 8 p.m. flight tomorrow in senior color pin at 9 a.m. Monday in Seattle. In case you wanted to know. Alright, so we're sort of icing the kicker here on Porzondi. Let's see if she can put that delay aside and cover up her 7 pin and stay clean through 5 frames. She sure can. Wow. Does anything bother this lady? Somebody says no. I think she's related. Yes. Yes. Mom nervously watching on. Most of mom's interaction with me today has been, what's going on here? And this guy comes over and says, you're telling me she has to bull again? <laughs> and it's all breaking right for her right now, though. That ball breaks right as Childers gets a Brooklyn to carry there. He's trailing the match scratch, though, by 44 pins, and Ariana's getting 30 more of them, so Zandi is in mega control here. Um, let's just do a snapshot right here. <laughs> yeah, man. I thought for sure that was standing. Yeah, it looked I, like it was stopping, right? It looked like it was like, it was always uh -huh. like, oh. It must have fallen off the deck. I'm telling you, half more inch, that would have stayed right there. I'm very excited to have that on camera. Hey! There you go. No! <laughs> it was pretty good. Good call. No? <laughs> How's your back? Can't have old man back yet. There we go. Good enough? Yeah. Good enough. Shall we do the winner? Yeah. 
We're just looking in the face for the So Grandy, meanwhile, we're back with the strike working. Wow, it's hooking right back. My goodness. I figured. Tomorrow. Wow. We will find out shortly. Harley thinks he snuck into top five with the he had first and second high game today. Okay. Zondi, a product of that Red Rock program, right? Those junior Red Rockers, they just keep coming out here and doing well in our tournaments. If you're a junior Red Rocker and you haven't come out here, well, you're, you're missing something. Eric gets them out on all those different patterns. It really, really helps when you come out here. You're not so, you're not so uh, intimidated or, or wondering what the heck's going on in our lanes because you've seen it all before in your home league. Big, big, big supporter of that. Well, a little opportunity here for Childers is he's got a double working and Ariana missed that spare in the seventh. So this is a to stay in the building and almost gets the same lucky hit on the six pin that triggered Cortez's win over there. Not quite to be. Take this off the sheet here for uh, for shoulders. 23, 143, 203 scratch. Zondi would open off the sheet for 55, 6, 73. This does not look good for Jacob. That's <laughs> the bottom line here. Long day of competition, 81 entries today. Most of them back tomorrow playing for the big bucks. Give out about 6,000 bucks tomorrow. Give out around 1,500 today. Real nice form for her. Somebody has been getting some lessons. Yes? Just the practice at the league? Maybe once every couple months. How long has she been bowling? Um, six years. Six years? I don't know. Very nice. Well, someone's taught her some good fundamentals there. Cause that's that's good form. And that's right on that square. Wow, nicely done. Impressive. Zandi, of course, is 32 years old, right? Is that about it? How old is she? How old is she? 15. 15. Just turned. Just turned? All right. Well, we didn't sing happy birthday. We sang happy birthday to Christian turning 15. She avoided it. No, it, oh. was in May, it was in March. Oh, okay. All right. Ago. Oh, she's starting near 16. Let's go. Uh -huh. No, she's still a baby. Okay, she's of course. Baby. Of course. Well, it's all coming apart here for Childers. It's going to match his career high finish of second place. He'll take that. Good momentum heading into the big one tomorrow. Oh, good try. But it is Planet Zandi right now. Welcome to Zandi Land. And she is cruising to title number one. I can't believe she wasn't even gonna. This was the last minute. Gotta get out here. Show your stuff. Well, she'll win 200 for winning today. She could quite easily win the invite tomorrow if she can wake up and get herself a four-digit scholarship weekend. Her dad said she bowled ten games yesterday or so, right? Yes. And then this is game number nine of competition over on almost seven hour span. It's a lot of that's a lot of mileage. Always tricky 310. It looked like there's a little more space than usual between the two pins, even. Inconsequential open. She's going to win this match scratch. You won't even need the 30 pins that she was getting. So, she has never lost a JBT event. She is batting a thousand. She's won every JBT she's ever entered. So. 
different group. Which one? Oh, did she bowl the doubles? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's her first singles win then. She's never lost a singles tournament. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> Hooray! Rocking the Brooklyn Bowling Apparel jersey, by the way. One of our... There you go. I knew Pollock would love. Pollock will will adore the shout out he just got there. He will be so thrilled. <laughs> that on tape. Fine effort from. Fine effort from Childers. One ninety eight with the pins. It's just a matter of how much for a brand new champ. Well, that's the first thing that's gone wrong or wrong for her today. See that pin slide over too? All the oil's down in the pin deck right now. It's a very heavy volume Broadway pattern and it just pushed down, so. We've seen pins sliding all over the deck. All even. Tez almost turned a 10 pin into a 7. There's our champ back on camera. Yeah, open, open, doesn't matter. That's nice when you start front four. You don't have to worry about little details like that. 236 and a well deserved first title. And a well-deserved hug from Pop. There you go. There's our champ. There's our runner-up. Nice job out of both of them. It's time. Invitational time. Well, kids, uh, invitational starts in 10 hours and 22 minutes. Good night from Vegas.